Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Raggett and welcome to Hatsune Miku again. Gosh, the collabs are coming thick and faster, thicker and faster than I can really handle, but oh well, I'm sure we can make something of it. Hatsune Miku has had one new stage added to it, very excitingly, Snow Miku, and so that's what I'm going to investigate today. I know nothing about it, so it should be fairly interesting. It's a time score stage. That's our first piece of information. It starts off with something of 150 energy, so I'm thinking not gonna be the easiest start. So let's just be conservative with what we bring along, and we'll go with a standard slot and go for it. <gasps> da 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 no halation. I'm getting <laughs> distracted by my, my own bad singing. Oh, what's this? Yellow shield on the floor manager doge. Look, what's that? How peaceful and lovely, but with a little beat as well. That's very nice. I don't, I don't like the massive clattering of destroying the base. I just want to really hear Hatsune Miku there, but oh well. That's definitely easily the best part of the little Hatsune additions into the game soundtrack. Did we succeed? Yes, we did, thankfully. It wasn't 8,000 we needed. The Diva of Ice is up next. Any changes to the strap? No, I think the quickness of our Peach Devils is probably good enough. Let's continue on. Turn those dreadful sound effects off. Okay, we're met by a Metal Doge this time, for which I do technically have Paladin, but brute force will probably work better. Hey, Fangory! Yes! What am I gonna use against you? Probably just Jizo. I'm probably just gonna use my first four units here exclusively. It'll probably work fine and we'll be faster than preparing for anything. And there we go, the money's for Peach Devils. Let's sort it out that way. Or not! Of course, there's the boss that I forget about. But we're still gonna brute force with these metal enemies unless we get a little bit more. We get a little bit more. Let's put Paladin in, in that case. And the singing works beautifully with that now, with a little reading out of the hymn book. That's all very nice. I enjoy that immensely. What a lovely little piece of music. Aww. Kind of the wrong time of the year as we transition through spring, but it's making me nostalgic for the colder times. You know what we don't get with the sound effects, which I'm gonna have to add in myself? <laughs> Can't do it justice. Did we get the score though? We did, only 4,000 needed on that one. Oh, that's fine then. I think slot three is coming into its own in terms of having the power to continue going through it. Let's go then, light in the cold. Do, 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 do. It's arm warmer teacher bear, of course. Uh, what have I got for you? A shadow gal? Maybe? Depends how strong this ramen is relative to the Gabriel Doge. A Jizo, some meat shielding, and a ramen. Oh, it's enough to deal with that, which means... Shadowgow! <laughs> yes, let's go. Let's not get melted, though. Let's just clear you all out. Beautiful. Probably overkill, but I wanted to get my boy out there. Don't know why I got Cyberpunk out. That's going to be a bit slow. But then again, nothing I have here is particularly fast. Just going to keep putting out meat shields to clear a path for Peach Devils. That'll be the fastest thing we can really do. I just love the designs of the enemies in this collab. They're so well thought out. Little variations on the standard enemies that A, work well thematically, B, are high def. And those are the two rules, really, that you need to pass. Right, we can also get Ava 0, Zero, which should help us for floating if the enemy isn't already dead by then. The rest of the stuff, being mostly Angel, will be adequately dealt with by Jizo and Ramen. So let's see how our Avas do. In they march, a bit of collab crossover. Ava 0, Zero strikes Angelic Gory. Shadow Gao finishes it off amongst some other enemies as well. And Ava 0, Zero strikes one of the bears. Actually, come on then. Oh, bit of death. We don't want that. We want that. There we go. A knockback. Nothing ground shaking, breaking, new equilibrium making, but we're going to succeed, I should think. And the music's just getting better. The good thing about, I guess, having this Vocaloid song in the background is that it's not a short riff like we've had in Evangelion where after a minute it abruptly goes back to the start of the song again without much consideration for a smooth crossover. We've got a whole whacking great song here. I feel like I'm inside of one of my many liked snow halation videos. Ta-da! <laughs> 
Yeah. And that was it. Are there stars? Oh, you bet there are stars. Right, well, we haven't probably had an adequate challenge from it yet, so I reckon let's keep going up the stars and things will probably get a little bit more difficult, timed-wise and possibly the stage itself. Let's keep going. Speed run this one. Manic Erasers and Jizo, I reckon, is going to be the way to go. And that time the floor manager doge didn't have a shield? Still can't work out what that is. I'm actually being incredibly slow at this. I think we're in danger of not getting the score we need here. I mean, the music's making me feel so at ease. There's like no tension in this whatsoever. But the time is pressing us. Come on. Boom. Do, 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 do. It's not good enough. I can't believe it. I bungled it. We're going to break out the fast guns this time from a material farming fast things slot of quickness. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Bahama to the party as well. Round about the time that we see the boss comes out. A Bahama, floor manager Doge is knocked back. And oh, very nice. Perfectly timed, I dare say. That is much better. Very nice. Nearly 9,000 there. That's a bit more like it. Do we risk this slot on the D-Rev Ice? Don't do it. My bravado of four-figure energy says, Hi! Oh, it's the metal one. Oh, heck. Well, you get lots of hits per second from Manic Lion. Oh, <laughs> bit of an intake of breath one, this. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Fan gory. A fantastic appearance as ever. I love it immensely. As funny characters go, it is just behind the Shakaral collab units because it just has this beautifully miserable face attached to this gay abandon, happy hair. And the juxtaposition is fantastic. I love it. Slow you. There we go. Oh, dispatching with a fan gory in mere moments. Oh, heck. Looks like with Cat Machine coming along, we'll have a decent bit of tankage. I could also bring in Tropical Kalisa, which might work fairly decently here. Although I've got to supplement it with my Manic Lions, otherwise we'll make no dent on these metal enemies. And aha, thus is the rub. I really could have done with some meat shielding. And I haven't heard this bit of the song before. I tell you what, like having a full on song is actually useful for gauging how slow you are as well. I feel like this might be an error. We've got lots of stacked up Manic Lions, but then they die because of the boss. And there's too much stacking of the Metal Hippos. It's far too much for us to deal with. That's not going to work. But you know I'm going to keep persisting. I don't know why I started off with a Maglev. That is bizarre. Let's see if we can get our Worker Cat up to full. I think this is poordecisions.fm. Now we've just got loads of Metal Enemies stacked up against us because we haven't made any kind of impact to start off with. Joyful music belies the truth. Right, Manic Lion immediately. They'll at least get a tiny bit of monies from the happy-go-lucky headband people. Also brilliantly designed. Oh, Cats in the Snow as well. Like, literally Cats in the Snow. And what's more, Cats in the Snow is a lucky ticket stage, which makes this brilliant. This is better. Look, we've got a proper stack going. The Fangory is gone. We're able to get the Worker Cat up to level 5. See if we can deflect some damage using Row. Although, probably not with hitboxes. Oh well, at least it's an effort that we're making. Gonna get another Manic Lion out. Uh, wait, another Manic Lion, and then we can just about afford a Worker Cat upgrade to level six. And then we're gonna push forward with this into the base. I imagine the Manic Lions will push forward in front of everything else. We slow beam them to at least kind of homologate our army into one place. That doesn't work at all. I'm not sure I've used the word homologate correctly, which means I think everything is going to start going wrong. I think it's actually recharge time that's our limiting factor and not monies. We're not going to be able to get enough of these Manic Lions. I guess the only thing I can imagine helping would be Tropical Kalisa hitting past the Metal Enemies. There's nowhere near enough range closeness for that to be the case. It ain't going to work. And yeah, we've exhausted all our opportunities. I'm definitely not going to try this again. Maglev hit on the first units to get ourselves a bit more money. And then can we not stall a little bit more effectively this time around? Get to max worker cap, as little difference as it may make, using some high health units and some longer range units. Get the Maglev in there in the hope of a connecting hit on the Fangory. I think we're in trouble. Come on, don't don't lose now, thank you. I think we're just going to have to sit pretty with what we got here. The Metal Hippo is not doing much damage at all. So we don't really have to worry very much about that as it happens. Get another Manic Lion out, maybe. 
Another little bit of long range, because only one damage at a time. The stalling is going to be very easy. The not dying is, is going to be less easy. Although we've got them off the base, so that's good. Keep the army as it is currently, and get a level 6 worker cat out of it. Can we time an epic gamer maglev to get those, those, those? No, no we can't, and I've bungled it. Oh well, let's do what we do best, and... I'm not sure what we do best. No. Well, God dear, we just get thinned out miserably. Honestly, it wasn't going well, and then you had to add insult to injury. What's that a book of? Insults and injuries. Salt in the wound, a compendium. All right, I do actually give up now. Let's put the general slot on. It still isn't going that easily well. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Flipping. Really? Si seriously? Will things go any better this time? I sincerely hope so, because I don't know what that last time was supposed to be, but that was not all right. Might have something to do with this cute critter. I'm in two minds about you. You're fantastically designed, but God, you're actually annoying me quite a bit now. Destroying my paladin before it has a chance to deal with these metal enemies. This is actually a lot more of a difficult stage than it was practically in one star or appears to be in two star. If you have this exact slot, I imagine Catasaurus would, in its disposable nature, make things quite a lot easier. Right. This time, I'm going to try just double erasering it. I mean, amongst some other meat shields as well. And try and build up a kind of deploy limit's worth of one damage a hit hits, of which there will be a lot. And hopefully then that can help us? Because Paladin doesn't. Right, Peach Devils. <laughs> Let's do that this time. I had about the right amount of money for it. Go on then. That's Fangori dispatched with. My favourite out of these units, and it's gone first. Is that not always the way? Ava zero, 0 now. If we can get rid of that Metal Hippo there, it should have a nice sort of free reign to be doing damage to the boss. I don't think that that will be the outcome, though. That's the closest hit we got so far to the boss, but I don't think it hit it. And I can't imagine we're going to get any closer. No. <laughs> I, I've had that confirmed from a believable source. And that's Paladin gone as well. I thought this is specifically designed to usurp my general slot. Another Paladin now. Okay, there's a critical hit. This is all going to come too late though, I imagine. Especially a Paladin's crit rate. I'm sorry for insulting you before, Paladin. Could you just... No, you can't. That situation's put a bit of a dampener on my feelings, but let's be fair, that was engineered by myself and the lack of thought on that slot. But I don't know, two stars shouldn't really have got so much more difficult. We needed a unique slot for it but we do apparently but still a fun collab the nicest collab that the game has has lovely designs has a lovely tone to it and it's all very lovely and will probably remain so despite certain lapses in judgment but i guess that makes it about it all right then i'll see you later yeah yeah